Hey guys, what's up? It's Superst here, and today I'll be reacting to episode one of Oregairu. So this is my first time reacting to it. Uh, I've only heard about it before, but not really a lot. I only know that it's a popular anime. And I also know that it's a romance comedy. And since I'm watching a lot of romance genre anime th these days, so I just wanted to see what everybody why everybody likes it, or not everybody, but why a lot of people highly regard it and why it's pretty much, you know, highly rated, highly acclaimed by the community. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is episode one of Oregairu starting now. Okay. Okay.彼らは青春 うん。仮に失敗することが青春の証であるのなら、青春のど真ん中でなければおかしいではないか。しかし、彼らはそれを認めないだろう。すべては彼らの骨合主義でしかない。結論を言おう。青春を楽しむ愚か者ども。<笑
Okay. Okay. And then the rejection. Okay, so this kind of probably forms the foundation of his current personality. Hmm. That's a hasty generalization. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> the Volunteers Club. <笑>あれ、<笑><笑> Probably can. You're both of the same cloth. いや、俺ここのなんか。楽しそうな部活だね。なんか。<笑><笑><笑> <笑><笑><笑> <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> あ、ま、<笑><笑> え、ちょっと待っ
男ってのは単純なんだよ話しかけられただけで勘違いするし手作りクッキーってだけで喜ぶのだから美味しくなくたっていいんだよ美味しくないう,うるさいまあお前が頑張ったんだって姿勢が伝わりゃ男心も揺れるんじゃねえのそういうものかしらヘッキーも揺れるのおあもう超揺れるねっていうかヘッキーって呼ぶなやっはろー何かえ何あまり歓迎されてない<笑>木下さん私のこと<笑>別に嫌いじゃないわちょっと苦手かしら<笑>で女子言葉じゃない<笑><笑>私は一人で食べるのが好きだからそういうのはちょっとそれからユキなんて気持ち悪いからでさユキの私も放課後とか暇だし部活手伝うねいやもう何これもお礼だけどヒッキーなんと一応お礼の気持ちヒッキーも手伝ってくれたしまがまがしいなそこはかとなく不吉だがお礼というならありがたくもらっておこう<笑>ハートヒッキーって言うな Okay, I think I get why a lot of people、uh, like this,、uh, this, this show. I get the appeal of it. The, the characters are real. It's very entertaining the way that they banter. But at the same time,、um, it's a lot of real talk as well. Yeah, I, I, I would love to see how their relationship or their friendship grows. And the addition of Yui gives it a little bit more variety and levity. I like some of the jokes. I mean, animation wise, I think it's pretty good. The, the music, as well, in certain moments, is、uh, well done. Yeah, I'm curious to see how Hachiman becomes less of a cynic, or at the very least, be less miserly. He looks like a miser. On the other hand, Yukino is more of like the serious type. She can kind of let loose a bit as well. Yui is basically the opposite of both of them. And balances both of them out. Pretty nice first episode. It definitely gets you hooked into it because just the, the personality of the, the characters really makes you feel like, hmm, if this were a real person, how would I interact with them? Then again, you know, this is high school. I, I don't know. I mean, if I were to interact with somebody like that at my age, but maybe when I was in high school, probably would be interesting. You know, there's a part of them, I guess, that we haven't seen, that I haven't seen yet. He might, he might have been this hopeless romantic back then, and, you know, just facing a lot of rejections and being in a, an environment which just continues to put you down might have just broken his spirit. Yukino shared the story of how she was bullied when she was a kid. Because of her looks, because of perhaps maybe her performance in school, just because she's gifted or talented, just because she's got everything going her way. So people would tend to try to put you down to level the playing field, but because they're jealous. And, and that might just make you feel so、um, distant and, and stern and wrap yourself in a shell and, and、uh, be stone faced. Like, basically, do not show any emotion so that you can endure whatever challenges or hardships you're going to go through, especially in terms of interpersonal relationships. So, so yeah, she, she acts very sternly toward other people, just doesn't want to become vulnerable with them. I feel like that's the energy that she's giving. Meanwhile, Yui is more of the, the bubbly type, right? The, the person who is open and honest and just direct with her thoughts and her feelings, but she's also the people pleaser, apparently. 
because she's trying to fit, fit in, trying to be liked by everybody. Yeah, we've seen, I've seen people like that. And it's such a, an exhausting thing. You, know, you don't always have to fit in. You don't have to push yourself if you, if you can't. If your friends are genuine, then they will accept you as you are right now. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that you will no longer change your bad attitudes or bad habits, just like Hachiman. I, I, I agree with some things that Hachiman is saying, but I also agree with the other side, with what Yukino is saying that, you know, I, I mean, I understand like there's parts of us that are very difficult to change, but there are parts of us that we need to change as well. So it's a very interesting dynamic and interaction that they're having here. Whose idea, whose concept will uh, ultimately uh, affect the other? I, I think they're just going to be able to influence each other, hopefully in a positive light, as they continue to spend more time, hang out. I like the banter, as I said. Yu Yui is just the, the breath of fresh air between the two of them. She's the one who can kind of negate all of the, the tension and the negativity happening. So I, I see where this might be going, but at the same time, well, with, th with this one, we don't really have a particular goal that we're we're working toward, except for try trying to fix Hachiman, <laughs> his uh, misanthropy or just his uh, despicable attitude or something like that. I, I guess that's the, the goal of the teacher. It's the teacher's goal. It's not Hachiman's goal. It's not Yukino's goal. It's the teacher who wants to change Hachiman or at the very least change maybe his perspective in life and see that there's beauty and then there's there's joy in in youth no matter how harsh it can be no matter how difficult it might get sometimes you know with all the ostracism discrimination or maybe bullying or just being left out so yeah it's a very interesting i guess you could say coming of age kind of thing kind of story so trying to discover yourself your identity, be confident in, in that. And at the same time, you know, become mature in your relationship with others. And that just because you're so set on being this way, being in, in, in the case of Hachiman, being very misanthropic and I guess cynical, it doesn't mean that that's how it's supposed to be because you, you have to learn how to be with other people, how to get, how to be social. But yeah, really good episode. It's very thought provoking. Anyway, so very interesting concept. I'm curious to see where this goes, because as I said, we don't exactly have a primary destination in mind. Like, uh, sure, let's say it's a, a, a romance anime and uh, the goal is for one of them, for Hachiman to be in a romantic relationship in the end, maybe. Yeah, definitely well-rounded characters. I love it. Music, animation, everything. I already said all of that a while ago, but just wanted to reiterate just to kind of summarize everything. And yeah, I'm excited to see what, what will happen in the next episode and in the rest of the season. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next one.